Hey, this is Ralph, and over the next few videos, I want to use uh, Microsoft Excel here to create a personal finance statement, basically to keep track of budget, income and expenses, and things like that. And I'm going to use Excel to do all of it. And I'm a huge fan of using Excel or spreadsheets for these kinds of applications because it gives you a, a real world, everyday reason to get into Excel. So if you only occasionally use the Excel program, uh, whether it's through school or through work, it's tough to really master it and to get good and to experiment with new features and things like that. So just want to run down a couple basics here on Excel. Um, I've got my spreadsheet and basically I'm on sheet one of multiple sheets. I'll, simp I'll stay on sheet one here for a bit. I've got my columns indicated by letters. I've got my rows indicated by numbers and where these columns and rows intersect, we get a cell reference. I am currently on cell C5, column C, row 5. Now I'm on cell E7. You can select a range of cells and it's expressed by the top left cell colon the bottom right cell. So this range that I have selected right now is B3 through E9. Okay, That'll make a little bit more sense once we start doing some basic calculations but this is my spreadsheet. Now I haven't saved yet, so I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to do that. I've got save up here in my quick launch. By the way, for any tools you want to use most often, you've got this little quick access toolbar, and you can check the kinds of things that you do a lot that you want to get up there. So print preview, is a, I, I like print preview a lot, so that's up, it's up there as, long as, as well as save and open and things like that. I'm just going to go ahead and save this over to my desktop, and I'll call it budget. Okay, so I've got my spreadsheet ready to go here. And obviously you can look online and there's pre-made budget templates for Excel, but I'm going to go ahead and create one from scratch. That way we can make it look and display exactly how we want to. And I'm going to start off here, and everyone does their budgets differently, but I'm going to start off, and this is simply, uh, I'll just call this checking account, because that's my main account, so that's where my... Uh, paycheck is deposited and that's where I pay my bills from and stuff like that. So this is like the my main money account. It's my checking account. And just so I can size this a little bit here, I'm, I can uh, do this in a couple ways. If you put your cursor in between a column letter, A and B for instance, I get that double arrow. I can click and drag to size that column or I can double click to auto size that column. So that works out pretty well. I'll drag it out to there and I'm gonna skip a row just so I have a, some space in there and I'm gonna keep track of some income categories and let's see how about a few things we'll put in some generic stuff what about net pay from job one net pay from job two maybe you have a roommate um, roommates rent expenses okay so I've got a few income sources there I'm gonna skip a skip a line and I'm gonna go ahead and put in some expenses and you doesn't matter how many you put in here certainly early on try to make it as realistic as possible for you but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a couple um, let's see I'm gonna put in uh, let's see what I call my my freedom fund I'm paid on a 10 month contract so I set aside money each month to uh, carry me for a couple months in the summer let's see freedom fund how about uh, Roth IRA let's see what other things we got oh what about mortgage student loan let's see how about some dining out groceries entertainment cable internet sewer water gas electric garbage cool alright so I've got a number of different income categories and quite a few different expense categories now let's make these look a little bit easier on the eye so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and select my income label okay I'm gonna select that cell I'm gonna apply a little cell formatting to it let's see I'll change the fill color of the cell to blue 
and I certainly will I'll bold the text on there, income categories. And I like that formatting, so while this cell is selected, I'm going to use my format painter, little little paintbrush over here, select the format painter and click on a cell where I want to mimic that formatting. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and select two different ranges of cells. This is called selecting non-contiguous ranges of cells. So I'm going to select this first range, which is A4 through A6 for me. I'm going to hold down my control key and then I'm going to select A9 through A21. So I have two non-contiguous ranges of cells selected. It's kind of weird. All right, while those are selected, I'm going to go up here to my uh, home ribbon and I'm going to increase my indent and that'll increase the indentation of the text within those cells. And let me just resize a little bit more. There we go. So things are going along pretty well there. A couple more things. I'm going to go and make that row a little bit taller. And I'm going to change the alignment of the text in this cell, A1. I'll go ahead and center it horizontally and vertically. And I'm just going to increase the font size a bit, make that a little bit bigger and more noticeable. So this is the start of my Excel budget. I've got my, um, my labels in there for my various income categories and expense categories. Okay? So we'll continue working on this here in just a bit.